This is a diagram showing the Wall Street Follies diagrams. If you Google Wall Street Follies, and what you'll see is the uh, starting area of Enron and all the links of the corruption that um, basically uh, is uh, linked off of Enron and then you'll see Arthur Anderson here and WorldCom, phoning accounting 7.3 billion and you'll have Lehman Brothers Bear Stearns, 80 million, 80 million, and others, JP Morgan, Citigroup, uh, Smith Barney, Merrill Lynch, a bank that's all behind this. So, uh, what's really sad is you'll have the SEC in bed with the government, and um, that's why this major. Uh, corruption around the world takes place. Here you have wire fraud, three British bankers from Enron, uh, Nigeria, offshore company, and uh, it, it basically just links um, the catastrophe, the uh, dot-com fiasco, and it all links. Uh, basically, um, from the same egg, so to speak. So the acorn doesn't drop too far from uh, the tree, and they're all in on this. And here's all the uh, global crossings, Adelphia, Chapter 11 bankruptcy, Kmart. Uh, the FDA rejects drug. So we have some links here. And then I'll show you another one. Here we have Merck, Quest, and uh, Time Warner improperly accounting for 1.6 million sales. And then I'll show you another diagram that's a little better than this one. But if you Google Wall Street Follies, it's quite fascinating. Give you kind of some insight of what's going on here and and how Arthur Anderson is uh, basically doing the books for big corporations and several of them and uh, robbing the pensions and uh, wiping them out as well as devastating corporations and, and doing these fraudulent uh, little deals and our SEC is government regulated and they're not doing anything because they're in bed with the government because of the donation money so there's still hope. We just need to get more honest people to get involved and uh, help stop this uh, corruption or somehow.